Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. Um, you can also always donate to me if you feel like you would like to. Um, I do have a PayPal link in the description box below, and it, again, really means so much when you guys do that. Um, and then I also have an Amazon wish list as well uh, listed down below. And then, um, yeah, if you guys also want to join membership, um, the join button is below this video. It's also in the description box. We're going to be going over some extra messages um, uh, over in the membership section after this video. Sorry, can't even talk today. Um, and then we're also going to go over a few channel messages just before I start this reading, just because there was a lot today. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get into this message. I'm not sure how long this reading will be just because um, it was a very straightforward message, but we'll get into it. So first off, the channel messages I was hearing today, guys, were Stephanie, I'm hearing the name again, Stephanie, but this time I was hearing Stephanie Mayer, Stephanie Meyer, and I remembered that's the author of Twilight. So someone could be reading the Twilight books right now or something about Twilight could be significant here. I'm not sure why I've been hearing Stephanie so often, but that was like the full name I heard today. Um, also, I heard something about cacciatore. It's like a chicken dish. I think it's Italian. I'm not quite sure. Um, something about a spider, uh, Rockefeller, um, an evening gown, something about a water bottle. I was hearing can't, can't restock or something like that, or camp restock, can't restock. Um, Catholic church, something about a venue, um, college degree, someone could have a college degree or in, is in college right now, something about someone spilling their coffee. Um, also guys, I have to be honest, I was hearing something about overdose it's been coming out a couple times in the messages i just wanted to say that so i don't know if this is really just the karmic person but i just wanted to put that out there i've kind of been holding that message back i don't really like to speak negative things but i mean it's come out quite a few times now so i figured i should put it out there um yeah and then also heard something about a mystery van maybe someone like we have seen this karmic was kind of like watching this masculine there could have been like a van circling someone's house or something that's kind of like the vibe i was getting from that um i also heard Bas bastille 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 i don't know how to say it b-a-s-t-i-l-l-e -L -L -E. um they're like a band as well they sing some different songs i think they're like an english band yeah um and then also i was hearing something about um a check like a, a someone with a blank check potentially, or something about selling the house, something to do with checks, um, a stoplight, something about the song Broken Vow. Um, so maybe go listen to that. I also was hearing, can you sign my name for me? Or something about like, can you read the signs? And then I was hearing again, something about a check. It was either sound check or like blank check, but I definitely feel like there's something to do with money here because I also was hearing that song Tears of Gold but just the specific line from the song where they're like wreck check came here to collect so it's like I feel like someone could be collecting money or something or like getting money in the form of a check or something or that's what someone's been waiting on also something about a fur coat is significant maybe maybe that's a specific message I was hearing VP surfactant uh, construction work her placement tenant fire truck teacher or caretaker driving to school so i feel like yeah someone could live in a building something about a tenant someone could be moving out of a building maybe your lease is up or something um but yeah and then also something to do with the teacher caretaker i keep hearing messages about a school or something um something about trimester this could also be in terms of pregnancy because trimester term these could be pregnancy like words as well related to that um something about qualifications a student um i was hearing i still think we need to do more research whatever that means um i was hearing remoulade and then blue in the face as well um which is interesting because i know reading a while back i did hear something about like oxygen being cut off or like someone not being able to breathe so i don't know and then yeah so i just i thought i'd point that out guys um i also heard something about stanley cup as well so a couple of random messages for you guys to start off this reading. Um, uh, those were the channel messages I had uh, that went along with this reading. And then now we're going to get into the actual reading itself here. Um, okay, so basically, guys, we're seeing like the same kind of situation coming out where a masculine is 
he's honestly feeling quite confident in himself right now i think like he's feeling like you know what i can do this like i'm like i don't i think he knows he's going to be successful in a court case here um there's something about him waiting on paperwork for something to come back but he, either way like he's feeling pretty good in himself and the fact that he's going to be successful um also this masculine could be eating healthier i keep getting stuff about like fruit or vegetables and this card there's literally grapes here um it's also interesting because grapes in my charm readings have represent like a date or something so i feel like um he could be confident about like moving forward towards the divine feminine going on a date or something uh that could be you have a factor and then those people in the background kind of look like they're just watching him like not quite happy that he's being so successful but like you know he is and it is what it is but yeah i'm seeing him being successful here and again this is in relation to a court situation and there's some sort of like documents that he's waiting on like this really seems to have to do with paperwork um something that needs to come in the mail or some sort of uh verdict that needs to be reached um in the courtroom and this has to do with a group of people something about a nurse doctor dentist as well um we have seen that come out quite a lot this karmic person also guys i think is not doing well so i feel like they could be hospitalized right now or something like that and then yes there is a group of people involved as well there's some sort of like other family members or other karmic people that are also involved in this court case i don't think it's just one karmic person and then yeah it's like he could be obviously getting like some documents for traveling we were hearing messages like that i think in the last membership reading i mentioned um something about paperwork for traveling so i go more into detail and about that in the membership section but yes yeah, so there there's some sort of paperwork he's waiting on i think mostly it has to deal with this court case though it's some sort of um money it's like to make sure i think money is like put in his name or something like that um so yeah that's what i feel like he's waiting on here and um it literally says she doesn't want to pay money she owes <laughs> and this has to do with the karmic person and then it says making a decision or choosing this is in the court case this is not this masculine making this decision this is like up to a courtroom i'm seeing now um there's also something about the star here this could be like um this is about someone's wish this is about uh something in the spotlight too so i feel like this will be something a lot of people like find out about soon um this is also about healing as well i feel like this masculine is going through a healing process right now he's slowly getting better um and also in this reading guys i am seeing a lot of stuff about this masculine feeling feeling strongly towards the divine feminine um so we have stuff about like um but i'm sexually attracted to you i love how sexy and spontaneous you are we have physical attraction less sexual you know body sensations arousal all this stuff we have blonde hair some of you could have blonde hair or like one of you could um something about kissing i want kids and stomach guys like i clarified this this is a masculine that either wants kids with you or is just thinking about the act of making kids with you <laughs> um a lot like i'm seeing this come out a lot in this reading he is strongly missing you physically right now um as well as emotionally guys like it's definitely a combination of both it's not just physical but it's just the physical is coming out a lot in this reading i think he just knows that like something is getting closer like it's very close to ending out this cycle with this karmic person i think it's just making him more excited about seeing you in person and like he's just thinking all the thoughts of like oh my gosh like i'm gonna actually see her soon um it's gonna be amazing like dreaming about you fantasizing about you um definitely a lot of that going on right now so i wanted to point that out here um yeah and like when this decision is made like he's like goodbye this is literally the card that came out like as soon as this offer is made is his offer accepted this also could have to do with um a home as well something about a house but i i strongly believe this is like a court case that he's waiting on because we have the hanged woman here hanged man um so this is something that he's just waiting on this is a pause this is just like a little moment he's got to wait for to be able to move forward we saw in the last reading there's a lot about waiting going on but yeah once this is done he is moving forward it says it's time to release the past if something or someone has been holding you back let it go move on and we have boxes right here and it also says i will win you lose so i feel like he is very confident in himself he is very much standing in his power right now um yeah like he's gonna win this guys like i just keep seeing that because then right here we have the ten of pentacles which is all about like great abundance like something he's gonna be blessed with a lot of money um this could be what the check is about 
and also it's about you know moving forward to like a commitment as well um so that could be with the divine feminine and then look what we have right below i'm ready for commitment <laughs> and setting communication this is as soon as this is done like guys he is so ready to run to you like i keep hearing that song over and over that song run to you like he cannot wait to see you i'm not even kidding like the energy is so like antsy like i just want to go see her i just want to see her right now like he hates being away from you um i also guys i'm seeing him like emotional as well though like crying about you like the fact that like he regrets a lot of the stuff he said in the past he regrets how he treated you in the past um he regrets his decisions in the past he regrets not opening up to you more about things that he was going through um so much regret and he just so badly wants to go make it right with you like that's all he wants to do right now i just keep seeing him wanting to apologize to you wanting to reach out to you and hoping like He's also hoping very strongly that um, that you respond in a good way. Like you are, um, I guess, reciprocal of his feelings, like that you still have feelings for him. Um, he's hoping also, <laughs> I keep having my charm come out for luck. He hopes that, that he's lucky with you, that he, things work out. And also he's hoping to get lucky with you in more than one way, let's be real. Um, <laughs> But it is also definitely in terms of commitment. This man wants more than just something physical with you, but but there is an extremely strong physical attraction there as well. Um, and of course, yeah, we do have karmic is in jail, so now I'm safe. This is what's going to be happening um, once this court case moves forward. And then we have, of course, driving as well. So he could be driving somewhere, um, moving into a new place if he hasn't already. Um, then that's what will be coming up right after this. Um, so that's what we're seeing there. And... Um, also, I keep seeing stuff, too, about him getting help from family or friends, like, specific family or friends with, like, some sort of celebration or something he's been planning for Divine Feminine. It could just be, like, one or two close family members or friends that he's getting help from. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to point that out as well. So, he does have people that are on his side that are helping him, guys. Um, and then right here, it's so funny. It's all about, like, decision-making. You can see, like, she's choosing between the red or the white dress here. Also, this is someone in a white dress, guys. Again, we have two cards with someone in a white dress um but this is also about being bold as well this is planning um so he's planning a celebration like this card's all about planning and a decision made and this is about like a celebration right here with a group of people um so that's what he's been thinking about that's where his mind's been at it's really on you in this reading divine feminine um and it says divine masculine will be return returning to you soon divine feminine um, by a car or plane, it seems. <laughs> I don't know how else you would, I um, guess, by bike or something. <laughs> Maybe if you guys look closer. Um, and it says right here, a party with friends. And it's clarifying literally the Three of Cups, which is a, like a celebration with friends. Um, and it says, I'm going to reach out. Um, and then also we have the, this seems kind of like the karmic person. It also could be representing like this masculine making the decision decision to reach out to you. But in terms of the karmic, I feel like this could be representing them because it also says in denial 2023 and I don't believe it. So I feel like this karmic is going to be shocked by the decision in the court or, or some sort of sentencing that they get or something that happens to them. Also, they could be shocked by the fact that this masculine just leaves so suddenly to go see you, Divine Feminine. I feel like that's what I'm getting because clarifying this, we have the moon card, but it's in reverse. So this is like something being revealed, like the confusion ending. Um, so all this stuff that's been confusing, this decision making, like it's going to be over and something is going to be revealed. And we also have a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles here. And then we have the Empress, guys. So something is going to be revealed to an Empress. A new beginning is going to be revealed to you. There's going to be an offer made to you by this masculine. That's what he's been working on. That's all he can think about. And then up here with the Five of Pentacles, we have a karmic person that's ultimately going to be left out in the cold, guys. That's just what's going to happen, like, they're, this masculine is going to be leaving them right after this, um, or at least, um, moving further away than he already is, if he already is away from them, um, we also have rushing, I told you guys, this masculine is not playing around, like, as soon as this is done, he wants to move forward, there is no waiting for him once this is over, this is the only thing that seems to be really holding him back anymore, um, obviously, again, I keep telling you guys, there is a little bit of fear there, but that's not going to stop him, um, we have your passion or something you're good at can make you a lot of money if you put your effort into it. So I also think that your Divine Masculine is working on a new business right now or you're going to be working on one together. There's something about you guys creating abundance when you guys come together. And that's also part of the reason that I feel Spirit is bringing you guys together is for some sort of bigger reason like we talked about in the last reading. 
um it's for something more significant than just love like i feel like you guys are meant to like be almost like a power couple and like build together like there's a reason when twin flames come together you guys are powerful separately but a lot more powerful when you come together and especially after you've already taught each other your lessons and both work through your karma like this is a very powerful connection coming together here um and then yeah in terms of the karmic guys um we do have a health diagnosis hospital sick and we also have time is running out um i did also guys i hate saying this i did hear something about terminal um i i also heard um something about defibrillator and tertiary and i think tertiary is like when a hospital has like um very special services as well like it's very specific for um certain conditions like um it's kind of like a higher end hospital that does all like everything sort of and like specializes in very specific conditions um so yeah i just wanted to point that out i am hearing that so i don't know what's going on with this person i do obviously still like wish them the best in the end like i don't wish them harm or anything very serious so i do hope that they get the help that they need but i do think this person could be hospitalized right now um in the meantime of like waiting for this court case to move forward um but it also says spirit says the karmic is done so spirit is you know working how it wants to work so you know the karma will be dealt in whatever way spirit feels necessary so um i don't know what that is at the moment but that is just what i'm seeing there um and then yeah in terms of this uh, masculine it says this person is here to help you he wants to protect you guys like, this masculine, I keep telling you, he just wants to, like, be the man for you. Like, he wants to do everything for you. He wants to pay for things for you. He wants to take care of you. Um, he doesn't want to be any sort of burden on your life. That's all I keep seeing. Um, and then we also have something about reservation. Uh, you are the only one for me. We also have, uh, yes, take the risk. You will come out successful. Go for it. Be bold. This is this masculine. I feel like weighing the option kind of like, oh, should I do it? Should I do it? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I feel like he's going to decide on it. He knows already he wants to do it. It says, I want to marry you as well. We have one day, an event happening in one to two days. I don't think this is the actual, like, him coming forward in one to two days, guys. Please, again, remember timing is different for everyone. Um, but I do think something in this court case is about to um, move forward very, very soon. Um, there's about to be a breakthrough. I mean, I'm already seeing it come out in reading, so we already know what's going to happen. It just has to happen now in the physical world. That's, like, literally all we're waiting for. It, it's going to happen, guys. Like, it's what I'm seeing in the readings. The energy coming out is that this masculine's about to win a court case, and after that, he's about to quickly travel to a divine feminine or quickly communicate with a divine feminine that he's been very longingly dreaming of, wanting to see, wanting to be near, wanting to speak to. Like, he just wants to like, touch you in person, like, he wants to talk to you in person, hear your voice, like, anything really is what I'm getting, um, but yeah, and then in terms of, like, what he's been planning, we have a celebration, guys, some sort of, like, birthday, if you have a birthday coming up, um, you also could be, like, a Pisces or something, I was getting that earlier, um, anniversary, wedding, holiday, group gathering, you know, like, something he's planning, and we also have getting help for my brother, this could be any, like, male fam family member, or, like, a close friend as well, so that's what I mentioned earlier. He's getting help from someone to plan something. I keep getting that. Something about a supply store I keep hearing about too. So yeah, very exciting. He's getting something ready for you guys. Um, but yeah, basically, let me see if I have any other messages here, guys. Um, yeah, just a lot of him feeling remorseful about the past, guys. He just feels like he hurt you. He regrets it. He hates that. Um he just wishes he realized your value back then, but he does see it now and he wants to truly treat you how he feels you should have been treated in the past. He wants to make up for it. Uh, for a lot of you guys, again, this is like seriously like going to be something like almost like a proposal. I'm seeing for a lot of you, um, whatever this proposal is, it could come out like it could happen outdoors. I don't know why I'm seeing a lot about outdoors and then up here. We have a home knocking on someone's door, communication, text message, phone call. So that's what's coming very soon. We also have a walk in the park. I told you guys in the past I was here in park a lot. So you guys could meet in the park. There could be something significant about a park. Someone could literally get proposed to in the park. I also, again, I'm seeing the Eiffel Tower, guys. I went to use this deck today and I didn't even realize on the front of the deck, I forget where it is. Where is this deck I used? Oh, in the front of the book that comes with it. Look what's on the front of the book. 
There's an Eiffel Tower, guys. Like, what is with the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Someone here has to be going to, like, Paris or France or getting proposed to there. I don't know. That's all I'm getting here. Or someone is, like, French-speaking. But anyways, uh, and then, of course, we have apology. And again, we have text message phone call. We have that twice in this reading. And we have this is divinely guided, right? So this is coming up. This is very soon. Um, that's what we're seeing here. And then I don't know if I have anything else I wrote out. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something here, guys. Um, <laughs> but basically, yeah, he's also thinking a lot about the bedroom. <laughs> I even saw this in the charm readings. Um, he's thinking about like being dominant, making you feel really good. I don't know, something like that really wanted to show off in the bedroom <laughs> as well. So I just want to put that out there. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there's something else I wanted to say. I feel like, oh yeah, sorry guys, now I remembered my two cards I had. So this is in terms of the celebration, guys. This is what I pulled for it. Look at what we have here. Very soon and wedding. Like, what? So yeah, mm, something is happening very soon. This is the celebration he's working on. For some of you, this is legit like a proposal or something. Um, for others of you, like I mentioned, it's just like moving the relation up relationship up to the next level and eventually i think this man plans to marry you like regardless so uh yeah something is happening very soon we keep seeing that and um i think this court case is about to finish out obviously this masculine's feeling good about it today so i think that's a good sign and yeah um that's what i have you guys for this reading i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did you know please give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe um join membership if you'd like to hear some more messages um, about what's going on in the situation we'll go jump over there now so come join us if you would like to it's just again join button below the video or a link in the description box i'll also pin it in the comment section and then if you guys do enjoy my videos like always if you'd like to there's donation link down below um it really helps my channel it really helps me to be able to continue doing this um in my free time and then also um i do have the amazon wishlist as well i always appreciate cards guys it really helps me be motivated to make readings too. I love new cards. Uh, they're always really good to interpret new messages as well. So anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know how many times I said guys in this video, but okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>